Hi, and welcome back to my channel. What am I doing here today? Well, it's another haul video. I know I just did one maybe not even three weeks ago, but here it is. And I've got about 30 puzzles to show you. Now, I have to dedicate this video to my friend Hope because her and I agreed to not buy any more new puzzles until at least the Black Friday sale. And I did good for maybe a week, maybe 10 days, but I didn't make it two weeks. What's more is I was buying from the buy sell trade group on Facebook, so I wasn't feeling any guilt. And then I went to Amazon and I got this one and I got that one and I got this one and then I got that one. Then I found out about a sale and I got even more. So without any further ado, the way we're going to start this video is by this. We're going to start this video with this puzzle that's in my collection. It's an Art Pollen 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle from Masterpieces and it's called, it's a hometown gallery puzzle and it's called Filling Station. Why did I pull this puzzle out of my collection when I've already made my puzzle list to take me to the end of the year, my to-do list or my my queue for October, November, and December, what made me pull this? Well, because as you're going to see in this video, I bought a few Charles Wysocki puzzles. And because I bought the Wysocki puzzles, when I was going through my app looking for something else entirely different, I noticed that I had this and it reminded me of Charles Wysocki. So that's part one of the reason that I'm showing you that puzzle. And before I, yeah, let's, let's talk about why I got that puzzle. So I decided once I saw that masterpieces.com was having a 41% off sale. So puzzles that were say $14.99 were say, I don't know, $8.99 or something like that. So I ended up buying seven, including some art pollen puzzles. Now I was gonna show you something else first, but we're just gonna go with this. So I grabbed this one and I'm looking for the name. I love the phrase on these puzzles is one piece at a time or having fun one piece at a time. But this is Hammock Bay. It's a it's an art pollen puzzle. Now like I said, I was looking at my child's Wysockies, I was putting together a, at least two Charles Wysocki puzzles that I've already done this month of October. And there you have it. I wanted to get more of that style, that hometown style. In fact, if you look at this one, it says hometown gallery. Okay. So with that style in mind, this is from the Art Pollen Gallery from the Masterpieces site. I got, let's see... I don't know that this one is a pollen. I do, I have another art pollen, but we're just going to double check. No, this is Gail Frazier, but it's along that style. This general store Sugar Hills merchandise puzzle was also on sale, and it's in that hometown style that I love so much. So I got this one. And again, it's called Sugar Hill Mercantile, and the artist is. Gail Frazier. I, like I said, I wanted to get more art pollen, so I found this from his collection, and this is from the art pollen gallery, and this is called Day Trip. I'm going to love these. I don't even have any experience. I have experience with one masterpieces puzzle, and I believe it was a glow in the dark puzzle of uh, Fox. And I did that maybe three or four years ago. But I decided to just bite the bullet and go for it. 41% off is a considerable savings. And I qualified for free shipping. So I got this one called, like I said, this is Day Trip, an AM Pollen Gallery puzzle. And then while I was on the site, I also saw this one. And this is Dinner at Grandma's. And I'm going to... This is Bonnie White, Dinner at Grandma's. Again, the style. It's the style that I like. 
So dinner at grandma's. This is the only 550 piece puzzle that I got from the uh, Masterpieces Jigsaw Puzzle Sale. So you have Hometown, you have A.M. Pollen Galleries, now you have Heartland. So it, it it's just a style that appealed to me. Now I'm going to shut the camera off because I have another pollen, but it's on the bottom. Okay, so I had to get this because I had these placed in the pile by size of the box. But I wanted to show you this at this part of the video because it is another Art Pollen puzzle, but the box is a bigger size. So it's going to be difficult to store these Masterpieces puzzles together when this happens. And this one here is called Farmer's Market. I love the style. In fact, I'm working on a puzzle right now, which is a country store puzzle. And it's from the uh, Country Life series from Buffalo. And it's just a scene, and I love scenes. So that's my other Art Pollen puzzle. So in the video, this video so far, I've shown you four, no, five Art Pollen puzzles. One that I already, four that I already, four, one that I already had, including this one here. And I, I kind of think I'm going to like the style. How will it be working with the Masterpieces brand? I honestly have no idea, but time will tell. Okay, now, still got more from the Masterpieces 41% off sale. And this is called Catology, and this is Blossom. And I got this one simply because it looks like my cat, Toby, who is over there giving himself a bath. And that's simply why I got this. In addition to that, if you watch my videos, you're going to see every single month that I do one, two, three, even sometimes four cat puzzles. And so I couldn't let this one go by, like I said, eight and nine dollars with free shipping. Now, I got two more. No, I got one more from the sale and then two more masterpieces from Amazon. I'll show you those in a moment. This is the last of the seven puzzles that I got, three, six, seven. Yes, I'm just counting, they're over there now. This was the last of the seven that I got from that sale. It's an inside out puzzle and I hear that these are a lot of fun. So it's a house, but you see the insides of the room, but in this case, it's called Walden's Manor House. Now I'm going to show you in just one second as to why I got this puzzle when it's not in the style of the hometown puzzles that I like. And I'll show you that right now. So again, this is Walden's Manor House and the artist for this one, I had no idea. I honestly did not know. It is an Art Pollen puzzle. Go figure, did not know. Does that mean that the next two are Art Pollen puzzles? Nope, this is Sergio. This artist is Sergio, but it's another inside out puzzle. This is Fields Department Store. Now, this one and this one, which I'll show you in just a moment, I got uh, from Amazon two puzzles for 16 something. So an average of $8 a puzzle. I don't know if that price is still valid on Amazon, but the reason I got Fields Department Store is because when we lived in Chicago, my husband worked for a store called Marshall Fields for about 15 or 20 years. So when I saw this, I thought about Marshall Fields because I used to shop there all the time. So I'm just going to put this up to the, uh, it's an inside out puzzle. And it's all these different departments in the store. I know this is going to be a challenge, but boy, am I excited to do it. Now, because I wanted that one, at the bottom of underneath, like where that puzzle was for sale at Amazon, they said, buy with this one, and, and then it was a, a better price. So this one, Sophia's Dollhouse, came up combined with Fields Department Store. And by the way, this artist is Edward, which I do have other puzzles by Edward. So when this came up, 
to go along with Fields Department Store, I got them combined. So that started my inside out journey, which was like I said, on Amazon with these two. And then I added to my inside out journey with the Masterpieces site. So now I have a healthy library of Masterpieces puzzle puzzles to work on in the future. Now, we've talked about Amy Stewart on this channel a lot. I love Amy Stewart. This one here, Winter Reading Nook, has been in my cart for about a month. And it just somehow ended up into pay for it now. Winter Reading Nook, an Amy Stewart puzzle, perfect for the month of December, which is when I plan on working on it. Yes, I could have waited to the end of November, early December to purchase it, but, you know, I'm a little impulsive. So Winter Reading Nook by Amy Stewart. Let's show you a little bit closer. I love this puzzle. I love anything by Amy Stewart, but I thought this would be great for December. Another puzzle that I would like to work on in December is another Amy Stewart puzzle. Now, I don't celebrate holidays. There are Christmas cookies, but it's food, and it's Amy Stewart, and it's collage, and that is called Cookies and Cocoa. And I am putting this close to the screen to show you that it's just going to be a lot of fun. I, I have done many puzzles in this very, very same style from Amy Stewart, and I want to really get into this one here. I'm not bothered by the Christmas cookies because there's an ingredient that my mom used to make uh, when she made Christmas cookies when I was growing up. I think it might be fennel. I'm not sure if that's the ingredient, but there's a special taste in these cookies that I remember from being a little girl decades and decades ago. So that's uh, cookie cookies and cocoa. Now, I mentioned cats, how much I love cats. I got this one on the Buy, Sell, Trade group. It's taped, so it's a used puzzle. It's a 750 Steve Reed puzzle. It's called Curiosity Cat Shop. I have a lot of Steve Reed jigsaw puzzles already, and I have Charles Wysocki. His brand is called the Cats of Charles Wysocki. So I have others of this style. So when I saw this on the buy, sell, trade group, I think it was $8. Shipping was just a few dollars. So it was, it was worth it for me to get it. Now, I mentioned Charles Wise Hockey. I'm not name dropping. He's just an artist that I love. So I got this one called Sunny Side Up. Now, this one, I believe I got this one on the Buy, Sell, Trade group. The, yes, I can tell because the box is open. So this was used. It's probably in a baggie. Yes, it is. So I got this one secondhand. And honestly, on the Buy, Sell, Trade groups, whenever I see a Charles Wysocki puzzle, I immediately go to the iCollect app. And if I don't already own that Wysocki puzzle, I put in a bid for it. And this was one of them. This is Sunny Side Up, a 1,000 piece buffalo puzzle. Now this Wysocki puzzle I got new, and this is called Cider Brook Farms. And it's another Charles Wysocki. I got this one for two reasons. One, because I saw this as somebody had just put this together on one of the Facebook groups. And I also wanted this because I didn't have a lot of winter puzzles in my stash. Finding winter puzzles is a wee bit challenging because I don't celebrate holidays. So I didn't want Christmas, but I wanted winter. So I got this one for December. And again, this is called Cider Brooks. Cider Brook farms. Forgive me for that. The next puzzle I got, it's an empty box because I haven't put the puzzle back in the box, but I've already put this together. And this is Blackbird's Roost at Mill Creek. I can't remember if I got this off of the Facebook group or off of Amazon, but in any event, I already put it together. A 500 piece puzzle. I did this in one evening. It was a super, super easy Charles Wysocki jigsaw puzzle. I love Wysocki. I don't buy many of his puzzles in the 500 piece sizes because they're just so easy and you're not, to me, getting your value 
your monetary value when you when you throw together a puzzle in a couple of hours. I'd rather have a puzzle take me a day or even two days or work on consecutive puzzles and take three days for a puzzle. And that way I'm getting my value. So, but I still loved it. Blackbirds Roost at Mill Creek and it's a fall puzzle. Now this puzzle, I'm a little, well, I'll show you that one in a second. Let me show you this one. This is a whale, this Whaler's Bay puzzle was also a used puzzle. I got this Charles Wysocki Whaler's Bay puzzle with, with the other used puzzle. So I was able to grab those. And like I said, I checked the Buy Sell Facebook group many times throughout the day. And if I see Charles Wysocki and I don't own it and it's under $10, then I buy it. And this is one of the ones that I did. And it's called Whaler's Bay. Perfect for winter. Winter without being Christmas. And that's important to me. Let me get a little close to the camera so you can see it. Now this one I'm a little annoyed with myself. But this annoyance with myself exposed me to something that I wasn't really good at. And I'll tell you about that at, as, as after I finish showing you the new puzzles. This one is here called Hickory Haven Canal. I bought this off of Amazon and I can return it until October 30th. I bought this puzzle because somebody did this on the Facebook group and I didn't have it and it's a winter puzzle and I wanted to do it in December. Now, when I downloaded the iCollect app, I did not know how to add in puzzles that did not have an IBSN at the uh, included. Uh, let's see, this barcode. And the problem with some of the puzzles that I have is the barcode brings up the wrong puzzle. I did not know how to edit in iCollect and I didn't know how to edit pictures or to change the puzzle. So there's are going to be some puzzles in this video that I'm going to show you that I did not enter into my database. So I'm going through my puzzles, trying to see what I have for winter. And look what I found. Hickory Haven Canal, a 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle by Charles Wysocki by Hasbro or Milton Bradley, whatever you want to say. But I also just bought it on Amazon. <laughs> Let me make it straight. I also just bought this on Amazon. So I checked my um, Amazon uh, order page and I have until October 30th to return this, but I'll just get a different puzzle in exchange for that. Either that or I will go ahead and do that one and give this away on the buy sell trade group. I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to handle it, but I've got a duplicate here. Now, this next puzzle was a bonus puzzle. Just gonna get rid of that notification. This next puzzle was a bonus puzzle and it's called Caster Knot from Unified Pieces. And you are gonna see a glare because it has the shrink wrap. And how did I get Caster Knot, this 500 piece Unified Pieces jigsaw puzzle? Well, I just finished Steve Land. And if you look at this channel in my history of videos, you'll see that I just posted a review video of Steve Land. Well, when I was done with Steve Land, there was one piece missing and I contacted the owner, Gamaliel, at Unified Pieces by email. And as we were talking about what the missing piece was and confirming that the piece he was going to send me was the correct piece, he asked me if I wanted another puzzle to choose whatever puzzle I wanted. Complimentary from them to me, which in turn, I will do a review video on this channel. I probably will start this tonight or tomorrow. I do have a good progress going on with a country life puzzle over there, and I may finish that puzzle, I'm not quite sure, but I might just come over to this surface here and just start putting it together. But it's called Caster Knot. It's a unified pieces puzzle. Yes, you've seen a lot of glare because I'm not going to take the shrink wrap off until I'm ready to put the puzzle together. But this was a nice bonus. And these puzzles look so good just like this when they're on the shelf. I mean, the, the packaging is absolutely fabulous. So that's my bonus puzzle. Now, 
I'm going to rearrange some things because I want to show you something else. This is called Sunset Cabin. It's a white mountain puzzle. I believe I got this on Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. It was marked down 500 pieces. Really, really easy puzzle. I did this in an evening and I loved it. It wasn't really challenging because the sky, all these pieces, 10 minutes to put that together. Maybe like 15 minutes to put the border together, 10 minutes to put the sky together. And then I had to work on the trees and the water and so forth. But if you watch my video, I tell you my process and working on this puzzle. So one of my viewers said, you know, I did a puzzle like that. I bought it from my cousin. I think it was her cousin. I borrowed it, did it, and then I returned it. And it, I kind of think it was this one but it didn't have that white boat. See that white boat right there? But I, I think I think I have that puzzle. Oh, I've done that puzzle. So that had me thinking. That had me thinking. Remember I said that I had trouble editing and adding in puzzles that didn't have the IBS in or the QR code on the puzzle? Not the QR code, but the IBS in. So, way up there okay see my hand it's going way up there i had several puzzles that i never entered into my app and i have entered them now as of now and now i'm close to 400 puzzles because i was able to enter in a bunch of puzzles i didn't add in in that process let's turn them the right side up i said based on that viewer's comment I pulled, I asked hubby to grab me several puzzles, including these two. These, okay, let's go back to this one. This Sunset Cabin Jigsaw Puzzle, which I've done, so the video's on this channel already, is a Dominic Davison 500 piece puzzle. And as the viewer said, she described her puzzle to me in the comments, but she said it did not have a white boat. I have, I think it's called an eidetic memory. Once I see something, I remember it, even if I don't deal with it for a long time. So a couple of years ago, I got some puzzles from my sister Gail, and I also had been buying puzzles from secondhand. But these never got entered into the database or to the iCollect app because the ISBN number wasn't working at the time I got the app. So, let's look at this puzzle really closely. First of all, I want to tell you the name of this before I pull the box up. It's a Dominic Davison, quite naturally. I don't have, I'll be upset with myself for not having the name. I will put the, oh, Living the Dream. Living the Dream. What do you see here? It's almost identical to Sunset Cabin without the white boat. See the white boat right there? My pinky is kind of hanging over there. The cabin's different, but the sky is similar. The mountains are similar. The red truck. And this is the puzzle that that lady described in the comment section of my video. If she had not made that comment, and this is why comments and views and likes are important because it, it creates a conversation. If she had not mentioned that in her video, this would have stayed up. And the shelf is a good nine feet high because I have one Ikea shelf that's four by four. And on top of it, I have a, a, a two by four. So it's at least nine feet high. And hubby can reach up with his hand and grab it. So it might be eight feet but I would have had to get on a step stool. But I would have never pulled this down if it weren't for somebody commenting in my comment section about the similarities of these puzzles. So this is a Time Away, which is a Masterpieces brand puzzle. A Dominic Davison, quite naturally, it's the same artist. Very similar, but different. So along with that, and now these are all added into the database or to the iCollect app, because now I know how to do it. In addition to that, I got this Creekside Mill Puzzle down, 
which is not, nothing like those two, but it is another Dominic Davison puzzle. And this puzzle is from 1972. No, he was born in 1972. I'm trying to see when this puzzle was made. Okay, I'm not going to dwell on trying to find the time. But yeah, so I have this one. And this is going to be a challenge because look at those trees right there. Look at these trees. This is going to be a challenge. But now that I am aware that Dominic Davison did the similar puzzle to the one that I bought and did this month of October, this came off the shelf. More about a few other puzzles that I had on the shelf that weren't added, but we have three more new puzzles. So let's finish up with those. This one is called Writer's Paradise. Now, I just did a puzzle quite similar to this with a grain typewriter, but even while doing this puzzle, I knew that I wanted this one. So I got this new on Amazon, and I want to see if there's an artist. Like I said, it's called Writer's Paradise, but it doesn't quite tell me if there's an artist name, and I, I don't quite see an artist name. But I got this simply because this had been in my shopping cart forever and a day. So like I will look at puzzles that I want, put them in my Amazon shopping cart, and then I click save for later so that when I scroll down, I have all these puzzles that I eventually will get one day. So once I put together the other typewriter type puzzle, which is writer's desk, once I put this puzzle together last month in September, I knew I wanted this one and this is going to get done. This is not in my upcoming queue, but I left my queue short, 14, 15 puzzles, so that if I finish those 15 in any given month, I have time to do other puzzles. So if I have time at the end of my queue, the queue I assigned myself, then this will get done in October and November. So my next two puzzles that I'm going to show you are two puzzles I've already assembled this month of October. This is What's Cooking. It's a 500 piece square jigsaw puzzle, 23 by 23 inches. So watch your surface. Like for example, if you have your foam core board that's 20 by 30, it won't work. 23 inches square. I loved this puzzle. As busy as it is, and I'm put it, pushing it up to the camera to show you how beautiful it is. The busier the puzzle is, the easier the puzzle is for me. So I guess my the right side of my brain is really connecting with the left side of my brain when I work these kinds of puzzles. Then I went not in the not complete right after, but shortly after that, I went on to this one, Cats and Windows. This is a 1,000 piece Ibu puzzle, brand new. I did it the day after it arrived in the mail. Now, I wanna tell you something. When I was going to do this puzzle, I wanted to do this corner, and then this corner, this corner, then this corner, and I was just gonna go cat by cat in, in a pattern and I did pretty good. I think I may have started with this one here, and then I end up doing this one here. And then I realized that with the fur and the texture and the brick wall, as well as the flowers, and then there's birds and snails, that my plan was not going to work. And this puzzle took me the course of three days. And when I say the course of three days, it's allowing me time to do other things in life. But I wanted to tell you about the challenge that this puzzle created for me because it's just, it looks easy, but it's not. But that's okay by me because by it not being easy means that I'm getting my money's worth. So this is Cats in Windows, a brand new puzzle. I think it's new to the Ibu site and it was new to me and I just could not wait it was not in my October queue, but it got done in October. Now, that ends all of my new puzzles. But remember I was said earlier in this video how I wasn't really 100% effective with the app I collect when I was inputting puzzles. 
So once I discovered those time away puzzles, these ones here, once I learned how to put them in, even though the information wasn't correct on the app, I asked hubby to pull down some other puzzles that I never entered. So I thought I would show you these puzzles because now they're part of my uh, collection on iCollect. So this one here, it's a puzzle bug puzzle. The next couple of ones I'm gonna show you a puzzle bug. This is Historical Farmhouse. I, I know the quality is not going to be good. It's These puzzle bug puzzles are very, very, very thin. I've done one. Um, the one that I did was fish, fish Hook Farms or whatever it was. I know it's not going to be great quality, but I'm still going to do it. So this is called, like I said, Historical Farmhouse. Another puzzle bug puzzle that I was able to enter into the app, I simply called it Jelly Beans. It doesn't have a name on it. I don't think it has a name. No, it doesn't have a name on it. It wasn't in the app. Oh, it does. Oh, I called it Jelly Beans because it's called Jelly Beans. I just saw the name. This, this won't enter in with the IBSN. So now that I have really familiarized myself with the app, it was time to add in some puzzles that were sitting on my shelf, albeit up on the top, but nonetheless, they were sitting there waiting to be entered into my database of or my puzzle collection. So this is Jelly Beans, another puzzle bug puzzle. Now this one, I'm going to save this for whenever I have back surgery. It's a mini puzzle. I've never done a mini puzzle before. It has no name. I had to enter this in as puzzle, can't find my item. That's the uh, choice you make when there's no IBSN. It's a Chinese puzzle. It's a knockoff. Will I like it? Who knows? But it's entered into the spreadsheet, into the app. And then this is a glow-in-the-dark Seiko puzzle. Again, I did not know how to add it into the app back in December when I got it last December. So now that I was able to do that, I was able to put this in, which is called Snow Leopard. And it's a 550 piece glow in the dark Seiko puzzle. I want to do this puzzle because I want to see if it glows in the dark. So again, this was one of those that was like, hubby, can you reach those puzzles? Then he grabbed these two for me, and this is Difficult Donuts. Again, it's not going to go in. It does have an IBSN number, but it doesn't come up. So now I have added it to my spreadsheet or my the puzzle app. So this Difficult Donuts puzzle, the brand name is Cozy Time Puzzles. There you go, Cozy Time Puzzles. So I love food puzzles. Let's hold it the right way. I love food puzzles, so I'm going to enjoy working on this. I know it's going to be a challenge because it's got to be three or four dozen donuts there, but I've done a donut puzzle before. Not quite like this, but very similar to this one. The last puzzle I'm going to show you on this video, again, came from that stack of puzzles that I never entered into the app. And this one is called Cool Cupcakes. And... It is looks very similar to box shape, size, and everything to this one, but it's a different puzzle company, and this is called Color Craft Puzzles. So this is Cozy Time Puzzles here, and this is Color Craft Puzzles, and this is called Cool Cupcakes. I really want to do this because this reminds me of a gradient puzzle. I have no idea what the quality will be like or anything like that. But I think because of the different color cupcakes, I should be able to, you know, make make headway into this puzzle. So I don't know if I ever would have had hubby pull it down if I wasn't able to add these time away puzzles in. But I just thought I would show you those. Because now, I'm just going to see how many puzzles are in my app. Give me one moment. So since I had those two, five, six, seven, eight 
I think nine additional puzzles that were never entered into the app. I decided to just show you really quickly what it looks like. So at the bottom here, it says that my collection has 388 puzzles in it. And this right here is 46 that are in my wish list. So of that 388 puzzles, if I sort this by, let's see, if I go to puzzles and I sort by completed and I do it ascending, you see that word no right there? Um, no 213, is that coming in clear for you? What I'm talking about is right there. That's how many puzzles are in my queue that I have not yet done. Of the 388 puzzles, I have completed 175. Of the 388 puzzles, I still have 213 to do, but yet you've seen another haul video. So the math doesn't math. Sorry, it's just the way it is. I love puzzles. Collecting is part of the joy. And I like certain types of puzzles. That's why I sh wanted to excitedly show you those art pollen, pollen puzzles or the AM pollen puzzles, those hometown feel type puzzles. And now that I have them, here they all are. So... The app is absolutely fabulous. I love it. That's a bookshop puzzle by Ravensburger that I have. But anyway, this part of the video is a little messy, but those are my puzzles. So thank you so much for watching. My phone might need to be charged because it keeps shutting off. So the end part of this video might be a little messy, but I'll try to edit it all together. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.